SAP Business One incorporates CRM functionality right throughout the entire solution, not just in the traditional areas of Salesforce automation and customer service management, which you have uh, seen in previous demonstrations, access through our sales opportunities and our service management functionality, but right throughout the entire solution. Let me explain in a little bit more detail what I mean. If I go ahead and I look at my business partner master data, this is where I record all the standard information about my customers. And in fact, with SAP Business One, uh, I can also record all this information about my suppliers. So we don't just offer customer relationship management, we also offer supplier relationship management. So when I'm looking at one of my business partners, in this case a customer, I have all the standard information, general contact information, who the contact people are at the um, business partner, addresses and so on. I can see their current account balance, what they owe me, um, deliveries I have outstanding, orders and sales opportunities that I have, uh, uh, that I'm currently working on. But from this one screen, I can then drill and link down and see all of the service calls that have come from the service management cap capabilities of uh, SAP Business One. Uh, and I can go ahead uh, and drill down and look at all of those records. <clears throat> so here's one of my service calls, so I can see all that information. But I also have the ability to view any other related activities. So what is this about? Any time I perform any activity that relates to a customer, I'm able to record that information no matter where it occurred. Let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, I am looking at their account balance and I have an invoice for this particular customer. I'm doing a follow-up um, debt collection call. So on, whilst I'm looking at this invoice, I can right-click on the invoice and I can choose to create a new activity. So, I can now put in the details of that activity. What did I do? I was making a collection call. Uh, it was a first reminder call. And I have called Daniel to discuss this invoice. And I can put in some content here. Uh, Daniel agreed to pay by next week. And I can go ahead now and add that activity. So now, when I'm looking at this accounts receivable invoice, when I right click on that, I can see all the related activities. And you can see there's an activity that I performed. In this case, it was a collection follow up call, or as a collection call, this is my first call. There's my content. Daniel agreed to pay by next week. So, what I want to do now is I want to schedule a follow up activity. So, I'm going to say, I want to call Daniel and I want to call him in a week's time. So I'm going to call him on the 3rd of the 5th. And I'm going to call him at 9 a.m. And I think it's going to take me about 15 minutes. And I want a reminder to occur 15 minutes beforehand. So I can now say add, and I now have not only my standard um, initial call, but I've also created a new activity, which is a follow-up, which will automatically pop up uh, a week from today and remind me that I have to make that call. So there is that process done against that accounts receivable invoice. Now you'll remember I talked about supplier relationship management. Let's go ahead and let's call up one of our um, business partners, who in this case, it's a supplier. So. We'll drill down and we'll look at one of our suppliers, which is Far East Imports. So I can use all of that same uh, functionality here. I can record all the activities that I perform with my suppliers, including, for example, let's say I want to schedule a follow-up because I need to renegotiate some pricing on this particular supplier. Or the same scenario. If um, I have invoices from this particular supplier, I want to go ahead and record activities against those. Let's say I want to query um, one of the accounts payable invoices. Um, again, I can drill down on that invoice. <clears throat> In this case, it's an accounts payable invoice for a supplier. And I have the same capability. I can create a new activity and then I can view any related activities against that accounts payable invoice. 
That whole CRM uh, activity management functionality extends into other areas of the software as well. Let's say, for example, I am managing um, a, you know, a, a complete quality process and I need to record a variety of different activities against my inventory items. So let's go and call up one of my inventory items. In this case, I'm going to pick my um, IBM InfoPrint 1312. And let's say part of my quality assurance process is that I have to do random checks on, uh, on my inventory items. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record um, the fact that I've done a random check on this particular inventory item. So I right click and I choose new activity and this is a task and it is a quality management task and of course all of these lists are completely user definable so you can create your own and it was a random quality check and I can just note here performed quality check and I can record the details uh, of the quality check I can even go ahead and I can link out to for example let's say I, I had to fill in a checklist so I filled in my checklist I scanned that uh, and save that as a JPEG document. I can save a copy of that document here in uh, my activity. So I'll go ahead and add that now. So when I look at my related activities on this product, you can see that there is the task that I've created, which was my quality check. Now, I also want to follow up and schedule a further quality check in another 30 days. So again, same functionality, which I'm already familiar with, uh, from the other areas, uh, from the business partner area in business one, I can choose a follow up. And again, this will be a quality management check. And again, it's a random quality check. And I now want to do it a month from now. So I'll now schedule this on the 27th of the 5th. And, um, Let's see, that's all okay. So now I go ahead and I'll say add. And you can see the system's just uh, given me a little reminder uh, that I have to set my status. So I'm gonna say this is not started. So that's all fine. And I'll go ahead and I'll say add. So now my follow-up call or my follow-up um, quality check is now scheduled for me. So if I right click on here and say, look at my related activities, you can see um, I have performed my quality check and then I have my reminder to do the follow-up quality check one month from today. So the CRM functionality is embedded uh, in SAP Business One as standard and is available right throughout the entire system. What does this do? This gives everybody in your organization that has the appropriate level of security the ability from within one system to see everything um, that impacts on the day-to-day -day, uh, operations of the business, to be able to drill down quickly and easily uh, and see any information that might be relevant to a customer, but also to record details of interactions that they have, not only with customers and suppliers, but also to leverage that functionality against inventory items, uh, against production orders, against a variety of those different transaction types in SAP Business One.